This flood situation in Bentiu is something unspeakable. I have been in Bentiu for a long time, uh, more than five years. I've never seen something like this. Basically, water is coming from everywhere, and the source of water may not be the same. But, and then it's not coming from the uh, rain, because last uh, one month or so, we have not had any major rain. So it's actually coming from the river. So it's very difficult to predict. Sometimes that, that you see the water is flowing fast, sometimes you just see the water stagnant. When I was in the hospital, I was in the hospital. 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 We have a Pakistani engineering company who is deployed uh, with us uh, since last uh, November. And they are doing a lot of work. Basically, they dropped everything that they're supposed to do, and then they put all the resources into uh, work or, uh, to respond to the, to the flood situation. At the moment, that, that we are critically looking at the airstrip, because it's not about that they are most risk, but actually, it is very important. Airstrip is like the lifeline of uh, Bantu town. It is uh, lifeline of the entire unmissed space, the humanitarian actors, as well as the local community. So, if you just uh, look on my right, and you will see a lot of flooding. We have this is the second line of the dike on which we are standing, and we are using our all machinery and non-stop, it's the 55th day we are using our manpower and equipment to deal with this situation. They can actually freely go outside at night, uh, where some of us cannot. So what they do is they take on those patrols at night because dikes, you know, I mean, they don't care about the working hours. So um, sometimes that they break during the night time. If you don't see it, if you don't mend it immediately, in the morning you wake up and then things are a much bigger problem than before. So what they do is that they were patrolling all night and then they were actually carrying a sandbag, which they made themselves. And when they see some small breach or small seepage, leakage happening, They'll put the sandbag there and do the little bit of the uh, first aid work and then come back and continue on the patrol. So they're doing a lot of work and then this is truly the consolidated work that uh, we are doing, uh, that basically tapping into the different uh, expertise that they have. In cooperation with uh, our country team members and the governor, uh, UNMIS and our partners have been working hard to maintain uh, cont continuity of our roadways for the community, but also keeping the, way, the water away from uh, new areas where communities have to move to and settle. Now what we've done is that on each side we put uh, um, the dikes to prevent water from you know, going into the road. The main purpose of working in this particular portion is to ensure that uh, the access to the dumping site where we dump soil waste and where we put uh, sewage is opened up so that we can get uh, the sewage and uh, soil waste both from the UNMIS camp, uh, humanitarians and then also from, uh, from the IDP. What I can proudly tell you is that uh, everybody come together. I mean, this is the beauty of the people in Bentiu, that uh, once we may be arguing here, there, everywhere, but uh, once that the situation hits, everybody comes together. So I was very grateful that uh, um, all this um, uh, effort that uh, we can consolidate and we are working in solidarity, um, I think that uh, we are making a progress.